it's turned out a nice little afternoon. And I'm sat under a tree on Sherwood Heath. I've not been left here, it's all right. But this time of year, as we're now well into November, it's time to put a bit more effort in to looking for invertebrates and it pays to diversify as we enter the winter months. Whatever will we find? Blogs, forum posts are great places for invertebrates and especially woodlice, millipedes and centipedes. Having an interest in the two orders can pay off. There's many species probably still awaiting discovery in many counties and from an identification point of view You've not got a deal of choice. It's not like rove beetles if you decided to take an interest in them when you've got well over a thousand in that family alone. But with woodlice and centipedes and millipedes, you've got far fewer species to go at. And it's quite an exciting field of study as well because new species are being found in the UK pretty much all the time rather like harvestmen or affiliate these are lesser recorded orders of invertebrates so there's always that potential to find something new but for the majority of the time you'll just be recording the common stuff and there's nothing wrong with that because even the common stuff in many counties is severely neglected. So, see if there's anything under here. Here's three of one of my favourite species. These are pill millipedes, Glomeris marginata in old money. You'll find these under every single log you ever lift up in Sherwood Forest and in many other North Nottinghamshire woodlands. Not entirely sure of the distribution in South Nottinghamshire, but it's not as common as it is in North Nottinghamshire. Well, at least, not that we know of. You tend not to get any records of these in Nottinghamshire. They make excellent study. And both myriapods, which these belong to, and isopods, which are woodlouse, can be recorded throughout the year, but especially during the winter, when there's not a lot else to look out for. So records, especially from South Nottinghamshire, would be extremely welcome. But here we have three different sizes. This is the typical hunkered up uh, position that they adopt. Doesn't look as though these are going to go anywhere in a hurry. And we've got three sizes from right to left getting smaller. But they're fantastic things and they look very woodlice like but aren't. These are a type of millipede. I say very common, not just typically found in black as these are, but these are really attractive because although they are jet black and shiny, they do have that pale edging on the abdo on the, the sections, the various sections. I won't bore you with terminology. This isn't the place. Oh, there's a woodlouse. Wants to be in on the action. Briefly. But this is a lovely species and occasionally you will get them in all the colours. You can get some that are 
like a dark chocolate brown and they're particularly striking and only a small percentage of the population are like them so this is glomerous marginata the pill millipede I say it does look very woodlouse like the difference is when you see them walking about far too many legs to be a woodlouse so if you wander in the woods and forests of Nottinghamshire or any other county in the UK other countries are available take the time out to record these because there's a good chance that it would be a new record for the site. Isopods and myriapods, which are centipedes and millipedes, and isopods being woodlouse, of course, are becoming more commonly recorded, but are still under-recorded as a whole. There's a whole field of study waiting for people in many UK counties. Oh, well, we might see a few legs here. Oh, no. It's probably just got cramp in one of them. At least there, you might just be able to make out a larger number of legs than there is on a woodlouse. Well, I love these. And of course, full millipedes, they get the name from their ability to roll into a ball and assume a pill-like position. And of course, by rolling up into a ball, it's a fantastic defence mechanism because none of the appendages, i.e. the legs or the antenna, can be got at. So they can avoid predation like that. Rolling up into a ball also helps to hide in the leaf litter better. They can sort of drop away into a covering of leaves. So, tremendous little things, have a look for these on your local nature reserve or in your local woodland. They're well worth recording. <laughs>